A wreath for Leela. It has been four years since the death of Leela Alcorn. Today, friends gathered to remember her life. Nine on your sides, Jake Ryle joins us live with more on this event. Jake, what can you tell us? Well, Kristen, they gathered here just a short time ago, just near I-71 behind me, which is really close to the South Lebanon exit. They do this now every year. It's a group of people placing a wreath on a sign for Leela Alcorn. Uh, this has become a bit of a memorial for her. Alcorn was killed on the highway four years ago. She was a girl who was transgender. Alcorn had reportedly struggled with her identity. And even four years later, her death marks a tragic opportunity to be touched by her story. Being supportive of LGBTQ issues and um, just as a mom myself, the story really moved me. I know her parents don't get mentioned a lot, but as a mom, my heart breaks for them as well, mm -hmm. you know, for what they went through losing a child in such a horrible way. Now the group participates in four different highway cleanups throughout the year. If you're interested, we'll put more information on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live in Union Township, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.